Right, hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. So I'm down at Stockport Golf Club today and I'm joined by a Mr. Tom from Callaway. How are we doing, buddy? Good, mate. Are you well? Yeah, I'm very good. Excellent. So, a lot of you have been asking where has the Epic gone in the uh, the bag. As you know, I've had one. I, I, we did a small fitting really, didn't we? A quick one. Yeah. Um, and I, I was hitting some nice shots with it, but not, not totally au fait with it really. So, today Tom's uh, stopping by and we're going to going to show you basically what happens in a custom fit really like a driver fit in um, and, and get one properly fit for me so I've hit some shots already with my um, ping already um, you're going to flash those uh, data over to That's me so we can fine, yeah. see what we're looking for and now I'm basically going to be in your hands, in my hands mercy, like it. Perfect. Um, we're going to try and find a find a, a spec that's going to work for me so yeah. would there be anything that stands out or something that you will look for when you fit in? Yeah, I mean, as, as I said to you there, um, your spin numbers are pretty good, you know, what I consider to be sort of on the optimum number there. So I'm going to try you with both the two heads we do because you're not sort of very high spins, you're not sort of into one category over the other. Yeah. So we'll have a go with both, with both the heads. Um, we'll look for a couple of different shafts as well. This is the one we've, we've tried with you already. Yeah. This is the uh, the Rogue Silver Aldilla 60 gram extra stiff. Uh, again, something that I think will suit you nicely. And a couple of other options that I've, I've got ready there behind you. So um, I think it'll be pretty interesting. I'm, uh, I'm quite intrigued if one comes out yeah. on top for you, to be fair. Yeah, I am as well. So let's start off with that then. That'll yeah. Be, uh... So we're going to hit a few shots basically, run through it, throw some data up for you, and try and find one that, that works for me. Let's say goodbye to the team. Yeah. Reminds me of a, uh, a Callaway FT3. Sounds like it. Yeah, I had that. Exactly the same noise. Yeah, I had that driver. That was probably my favourite driver of all time. A lot of people say that. FT3, yeah. FT5. And FT3 okay. was just Whoop. monumental. Back in our junior days. Yeah. Just right off. Nice, yeah. I like, like I say, that feel feels great to me. See, it feels a bit like soft, I'd say. I can yeah. feel the tip of the shaft a bit more. Definitely. Wood. Definitely. The strike's quite different, isn't it, as well? Quite a different kind of feel. Yeah. A lot of people pick up on when they hit it for the first time, I think they almost expect it to feel and sound a little different. Yeah, it's not like that tinny feel of the, you know, modern drivers, right. is it? take into account bad shots when you fit in a club do you? Yeah definitely I mean um, certainly obviously in your initial sort of testing we always will do but obviously I'm more bothered about looking at the good shots versus the good shots. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we want to minimise the damage so to speak on your bad shots like that one there wasn't your best but you yeah. know, it still carried 263 it still finished at 292. Uh, yeah it's a look it's probably 10 15 yards right what we're aiming at but yeah. not that that was like wild for me then that was yeah. the thing I found with the other one it wasn't because you know the shaft one probably wasn't right and then Played around with the head yeah. and hit some that I've, you know, I've not seen in a long, long time. Do you find you're losing that one more right or left? You test it a bit, isn't it? Uh, right. More right. Kind of thing, yeah, I saw some real right and like with ping, like obviously, I just see that, I, you know, just a little, little offline. That's why, you know, I think confidence I just went back to that more than anything. But you know, head profile feel feels great. Yeah. Um, love the sound of it as well. Yeah, I can say that that old sound. Yeah, like that was pretty sure that. Best one I've hit. So, right, so when you get one like that, this is when you'll really start to see the improvement. So the ball speed there has come off at 160 miles an hour. Wow. Be bear in mind we're at 154 with your ping. The ball speed's up a couple of miles an hour, obviously that's a slightly longer shaft than what you use at the moment. The total hit there is 295. Yeah. Uh, carry distance 265. Spin rate is 2160, which is 
pretty perfect, I would say. Yeah. And the other thing I like about that is it was more your normal shape, wasn't it? Yeah. Little sort of five yard stage. Well, 295 yards off of that kind of close speed is very good return. Very yeah. efficient. Um, let's go, so let's take another couple of that and then we'll um, try something else slightly different. Get that one. Yeah, that's like my bad. Right, okay, cool. Trust us later. The only thing I'd say about that, it felt a little bit like whippy in the tip, did it? Yeah. Like the yeah. yeah. Like that last one, I could feel the head like yeah, yeah, flipping yeah. in. So, we're moving on to the. Uh, this is very similar way. Quite a lightsaber. Yeah. Confident player. Good <laughs> golfer, you know, you can get away using something like this. Yeah. No, if you can't do it, you may as well look good. That's it. So this is um, a 63 gram, it's a project 6.5, has this yellow, yeah. uh, low spinning shaft, um, you know, should work very well for you, especially in this head, you know, so this in the this in the sub zero might get a little bit more difficult. Right. But actually that'll work really nicely, isn't it? I'm sure you can get to look like the look of it yeah. eventually. I didn't need waking up this morning. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm going to the headache. Yeah. That's definitely uh, going to keep me focused on it. That's the way. Right, so I'm just going to put the other option on there. Okay. Uh, any initial feel? Anything feel any different? Stiffness? Feels a lot firmer. Yeah. And like for you guys at home, I don't know how many of you have had custom fittings of things. It's, it's a process I think that you, you should definitely be doing, shouldn't you? Because from one shaft to another, you could find loads of difference. And like to me, straight away, that feels better. Like it feels more stable okay. overall, so. If you're looking at them in a catalogue or as a, as like an online sort of reviewer, mm. you're not getting, you know, they can all stack up pretty similar, but, yeah. you know, as you say, you feel the immediate difference there. It's, between that and, the and it's not, a, you know, for this sort of process, it's an enjoyable process, it's finding yeah. out, and, you know, it's one that everyone offers, don't we? You okay. know, we do so many of them here. Yeah. Okay. Often won't cost anything the extra to get either. Like that's good Went. So yeah, back up to where we were before, 159.4 ball speed, uh, that's gone 293 total hit, very good shot. That felt different, it felt a bit firmer, yep. if it were. A bit, a bit different than tip, like your ass one. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what Tom? Rob, you should maybe think about getting a job doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I might just try it, you know, with yours, a bit, we've looked at yours before, didn't we? Um, Set up a little bit loft, isn't it? Set up a degree yeah, loft. So yeah. I, might, I might take up a degree. I'm just carrying in a few more. Just launch angles are a touch low. And what would it, would it, is there, there's obviously an optimum launch yeah, I mean, for different ball speeds? Well, ball speeds and spin rates, really. I mean, if you've got the right kind of spin rate, we can almost get away with launching you at 13 and 14 degrees. And, you know, just get the most out of you. Crack it out. So again, really consistent for ball speed. That's 159.3. Launching at 10.7, which isn't too bad. 294, I just wanted to see if I can get that launch angle up. Could you, could you spin rate so good? Yeah. And you know, bang on what I'm after. Stop it. <laughs> um, I, just, I, think, I think if I can get your launch angle up a degree or two, that's when I'll really start seeing improve you carry distance. Yeah. Uh, but I like the consistency of the first Yeah, that shots. like, didn't feel, obviously we've not got shot tracer or anything on today, but there was no movement in those, was there? The other ones are moving a little bit, so. Just a bit more inconsistent, weren't they? Yeah. So what, we've added a degree of loft now. So it's now playing 11.5. Um, yeah, I think that'll work well. But now what we'll do, I'll just have a bit of view of that. Let's try it in the Sub-Zero uh, Zero Head Wall. Set that up for you in a moment. I really like the feel of this. Does it, think, does it come in black shot? Or do I have to? We can source it now. We've got to kind of spray paint it now. Good, yeah. Some Crayolas in the shot. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, launch angle air is 13.8 degrees. So that's more what I'm talking about. Mm. And did that jump the numbers up that? Carry distance 265. That's the first one for 255, 257. Spin rate perfect as well, 2089. So, you know, that kind of launch and spin is just what I'm after. The opening is a little down there, where not how you strike one, you're forced to be with one five, six. Yeah, slightly like toe with that one. But, as I say, comparing that back to your your own driver, where we're averaging 154, you know, yeah. we saw two mile an hour improvement in the whole strike. Yeah, but you know, I thought I hit that well before. 
But yeah, the positive again, it's gone. That's great. Three in a row. Like it. No, no, no trouble with it on that. I'm not stepping on this. Yeah, move it over. Feels great, that. Doesn't it? Even there, poor strike again. Was that poor strike? Ripped. <laughs> it's alright, though. So, ball speed there, 158. So that's four mile an hour up on yours with a poor strike. Good launch again, so we're getting a good result. So every single shot you've hit with that has been over 200, well, over 291. Which is the same, you know, when you look at your core speed at 105, it's very, very efficient. I like that. So it's interesting, guys, as well. Do comment down below what you think. You know, have you had a club fit before? Is it something that you, you've never known about? What, you know, does this video help you understand what they're about? And would you like to see more videos like this? I think it is. Oh, that looks different. Slightly different profile, doesn't it? Yeah. Not by much, but a lot of people, you know, a lot of people do say it sits slightly different. Yeah. Is that a good or a bad thing, or not, not bothered? I think because I hit that other one so well, like straight away, my brain's going, what are you doing? <laughs> it's calling you back already. Yeah. The other one. You found it, stop it. Okay, let's go. Feel some, I can feel more of the weight in the head though. That's what, that's what I thought you were doing. Yeah. That's a really low spin, that isn't it? Yeah, see it. See, it's just it's dropping a bit. So that's the interesting thing there, okay. I don't know how the swing was. The first three there was 101.4. Yeah, I thought it was a bit slower. 105 was the normal there. The right there was 1,619, so that's, that's a little bit yeah. too low. Launch angle was good, you know, launch it at 12, which is fine. But as I say, the average carrier with the other one was getting up to sort of 265 with your good ones. Yeah. Um, whereas that's carrying 245, that's a little bit short. But it was definitely not as good a ball for it. No, like the other one just seemed to be up there for a long time. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that was a And the other, the other sort of compromise effect is a little bit of this driving because it's obviously designed for low spinning players, but it hasn't got that weight on the back. Yeah. So I can't set that up to help you get your left to right and come forward. Yeah. Uh, I can just sort of move your, move your spin rate around. So I thought that was a better hit. So that one there has done, come off the club header, 157 miles an hour, which is good. Better club as well. Total hit there was 289, however, it was a little bit less than where range. Yeah, that's fine. I think. Like what have we had it set up before? More what the a different head was in it, like yeah. And that would be classed almost as like the what the um, like player improvement head, as it were. Yeah, sort of. of, I, mean, of I, the I, two. I actually won't say there's that much difference in forgiveness. Yeah. Um, I'm finding that sub zero is appealing to a lot more golfers than I actually thought it was. Yeah. Um, the mixed run tour is probably slightly in favour of the sub zero. Yeah. Uh, but there are still factors in the normal head. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're right in that respect. It, yeah. It's, I think looking down at the other one appeals to me more. Call Even the back feel, already. Yeah, the feel like like you know that FT three thing just stands out to me. Like yeah. as I hit that yeah. when I was playing like as an amateur so well. And, yeah. You know, it's like I say, my favourite driver. So I think there's that sort of intrinsic emotional That's connection it. to it. Like a button that, but it's a bit lower, isn't it? Yeah, I just can't seem to get it going. That's the thing, I, I'd almost feel, feel like I have to settle up another degree. So that's carried 250, so we are definitely launching at 10.3, so we are definitely a little bit behind where we're at with the other drivers to drive before. And what, we, what we're going to here that's now, so we've gone back to the... Back to the first head, the normal head. Yeah, I'm happy with the... Happy with your spin rate is perfect with that, so I don't want to lower it with the sub-zero head, you know, I want to keep it where it is. Yeah. This is basically, <clears throat> one I'd classify as being like a, a top-end stiff, yeah. rather than a, a light X. Yeah. So it's just trying to see if this one feels any any better, any more solid. So exactly the same weight as your ping, around the 65 gram mark. Yeah. Will feel probably just as stiff because it's very solid. Uh, and yeah, so you think same head as before. And the heads, yeah, you can tell straight away the head, the way it's set looks. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. That's the only worry we're going to be slightly softer flex you might. Yeah, I felt that one. Did you feel more whipping? Yeah, in my hands. Does it? Yeah, I can feel it like in the butt, does it? Okay. Like I'm 
middling them all. Yeah, either. both of them are actually 153, so 284 total hit. So very similar numbers to your thing there. Um, however, you like playing with the other opposite ball pad, don't you? Left yeah, I like space. You know, if I can draw it, that's fine, but yeah. it feels like really out of control when I do it. Yeah, so I'd be much happier with you having a shaft that you think you can well, play your normal ball flight with it, only have to start playing the other way, if you know. Yeah, yeah. video obviously like I say it's interesting getting your clubs fit and understanding what works for you so let us know comment down below go and check Tom out on social media as well uh, what is it yours Tom Grad CG Tom Grad CG there, you go. Golf. Golf. Correct. there we go <laughs> nice um, if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe to my channel for loads more free videos and I'll see you soon with more of them Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Loved it. Well done.